What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups and in this video not only are we talking about the Atari VCS but Atari making money so if you like games, consoles, or product reviews please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it. So it looks like Atari is back in the news again and this is something that is so strange and confusing to me for two reasons. Both Atari talks about making money in the first half of the year and also somehow talking about the Atari VCS. I thought this thing was dead but here we go again hopping back into it. I don't really know what to say to be honest. I have my, pulled out my phone and I'm kind of looking back through this because it's so confusing and mind-blowing that this is actually like a thing that is still prevalent in 2018 about to be 2019. So apparently with Atari licensing some IPs and re-releasing yet another roller coaster tycoon, they made 12.7 million dollars in the first half of the year, which is up 27% year over year, which is absolutely crazy to me. Uh, it's just so insane that they're doing well, to be honest. Now, I don't know if some of that money comes from the backing of the Atari VCS uh, back on Indiegogo, what that is, because that was like $3 million, but I don't know if that counts as money that they're counting as income, so maybe it's not as much as we think because Realistically, they haven't spent the money to release the VCS yet, but we'll get to that in a minute. I want to talk about how they still were able to make money. It is insane that they Atari is still relevant today. It's 2018, and realistically, Atari to me is a company that just has a logo that they sell. T-shirts is what I think about when I think of Atari in 2018. Now I know that they sold those weird lame hats that no one wanted to buy, the boom hats or whatever they were called, um, but really they didn't really have any products that were like, whoa, they deserve to make 12 million dollars. So I'm interested to see where that goes. I'm not sure how Atari is still kind of relevant and it just seems like they're doing a poor job of advertising but then again they somehow made 12 million dollars last six months or the first six months of the year and that's absolutely crazy but enough of that junk here we are talking about the Atari VCS again and honestly I don't know why the Atari VCS should have been dead like the chameleon and like all these other crappy consoles that have gone to Indiegogo and then just never happened. It's very sad and honestly I think it may make Atari's name worse. I mean everyone if they hear Atari they think of E.T. and how it was in the landfill. They don't think that oh every other game company went down at this time and also every other game that Atari was selling went into that landfill not just E.T. So that's a little give and take, but I've got my phone here and I want to read some things that I thought were hilarious. Like they said, they were expecting to start shipping out in spring of 2019 and that's really close if you think about it. That's four to five months. Uh, I don't see it happening to be honest and if it does, it's going to be a PlayStation Classic. That's really what this is. People paid 300 bucks for a crappy PlayStation Pla Classic, which is just too, too bad to think of. Now, they do state some more stuff here, talking about it being an interesting concept. It's not really. Nothing new or awesome came about from any news information that they've talked about, which is really scaring me because I feel like nothing good is gonna happen. They also have 8 gigs of unified DDR4 RAM alongside with an AMD Bristol Ridge APU with Radeon R7 graphics. Um, that's interesting because, well, 
There's nothing that's like, oh, we gotta go out and pick that up. There's no games on this thing that have been talked about yet. I mean, you get Atari games, but when I think of Atari 2600 games, I think of some Atari games, but then I also think of a lot of Activision games. So I think that this is going to be something that people go, oh, that's cool, I remember Atari 2600, I want to play those games. And then they're thinking, and then they're thinking, and then they're like, these games kind of suck. If you think back to what I said a few minutes ago, PlayStation Classic, here you go. We, I'm calling it right now. Atari 2600 is going to flop, not the Atari 2600, sorry. The Atari VCS is going to flop just as much as that PlayStation Classic because honestly there's nothing that's saying, hey this is well worth buying and honestly you can go out and do this exactly what they're doing if you wanted to. If you had a 3D printer, you could 3D print this design put a pie in it and a raspberry pie and you got the exact same thing it seems like which is kind of sketchy kind of illegal but realistically it doesn't seem like they're doing anything more than this and I'm not a fan of preaching the raspberry pie I know it has its place and people play it and stuff and I really don't try to play it that often I have one with games loaded on it but honestly if I don't have a game I'm probably not even gonna talk about it because I want to show you guys the actual case or the actual game or whatever it is so uh, I know it's out there and I know people do awesome things with it like I was thinking about putting it putting one in an arcade or something like that one of those one-up arcades I've seen people doing that on YouTube and I think that's really cool but honestly if I'm playing a game it's probably because I own it now with that being said, I don't say bad people who play it or whatever, I've done it before, it's whatever, but what I'm saying is there are better ways to be playing this. Go out and buy yourself an Atari 2600, play those games that you want and skip the ones that you don't or that aren't good. So with that being said, this was a short little video talking about the Atari VCS and Atari making money somehow. I'm so confused on how they did this, but they must have sold, sold a lot of shirts because every time I see an Atari shirt, it's 20 bucks or more, which is a reason I don't have an Atari shirt, to be honest. But what can you do there? Thank you so much for watching. Comment below if you think this thing is going to su succeed or if you think it's going to flop like I think it's going to flop. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in anything at all that's social media wise, I've got a Facebook, a Twitter, an Instagram, a Big Cartel, a Patreon, an Amazon link. Everything is down below. Now that Amazon link and Big Cartel are t-shirts. This is on the Big Cartel and then I have another one that just says retro video game pickups out on amazon so if you are interested go check that out but if not no worries just want to say thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure you hit that bell notification so you see when i upload videos because i do it quite often and the holidays are coming up and i'm gonna try to push and put out as many videos like as i can because well I'm not having to work so hopefully we get some really good videos and every day this week so thank you so much for watching and I want to make sure make sure you do this make sure you have a good day